For Magento users, import is one of the most frequent and important tasks. With Store Manager for Magento and its import wizard, you can import products, categories, attribute sets, and custom options. Let's begin and try to import products to Magento. Now there are thousands of products in our Magento store. We've prepared a CSV file that contains thousands of products with such information as name, product ID, prices, product SKUs, quantities, and category IDs. We advise to create database backup before importing products, especially if you do it for the first time. To start import, choose Products, Import, Export Wizard, and select Import. Use Browse button to select a file you want to import products from. Preview Source File. Notice that some words are enclosed in quotes and separated by a semicolon symbol. You will have to set up these settings on the next page. Specify field's delimiter and quote character. On the previous sample page, we saw that semicolon was used as delimiter and values were quoted with quote symbols. Specify these two first settings. In Store Manager Category Delimiter, pipe character is used to separate category names and specify full category tree path for a given category. Select Store View you want to import products to and press Next. Assign columns from the CSV file to appropriate database fields. Database Fields section shows the list of fields in your database that can receive import data. Use Clear button to clear all CSV column values at the left pane. To assign a CSV column to a database field, select the field at the left pane and then click the column at the right pane. Use Auto Set button to set correspondence automatically, but only if CSV column names are the same as database field names. The topmost option on this page is to specify if First row in CSV file contains field names, but not values. It should be checked if so. Otherwise, uncheck this option. On this step, you should also specify product's identification method. In other words, how Store Manager will determine whether this product already exists in your store database, and it should be modified, or new product should be created. It can be either by product's ID, product SKU, or product name and SKU. If we were importing products with relations, like upsells, cross-sells, grouped products, we would also have to specify product relations identification method. Now press Next. The Next Import Wizard page includes base formats and separators. They can be set by default. Press Next. On the Import Preview page, you can see how the CSV file was processed using the settings, which we specified at previous steps. If there are some errors there, we can correct them by reverting to previous steps. Now everything is correct, so we press Next. On this step, choose Import Method. Choose from the following. Add and modify. Add new product if not available in database yet and modify products that were found. Add only. Only add new products. Modify only. Only update existing products. Just add. All imported products will be added as new. You can store import settings under some configuration to use them for future imports as well as for scheduled automated import. Import will start when you press Import button. Proceed only if all settings are made. Otherwise, press Back button and check settings once more. Now everything is correct, so start import. You can see the progress on your screen. Wait several seconds. The result window shows the import was completed correctly. Press Finish. 
Now you see that there are 2,000 products in our database. That means that import has been completed correctly. Try Store Manager from Magento now. Get a free trial at www.mag-manager.com.